everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you guys how i package my crochet orders now last sunday on january 30th i got some new orders um because i released some new products i released some granny square bags bucket hats beanies so go check those out but i was waiting for my new poly mailers to come in i used to have the smaller bubble mailer versions if you guys see in my other videos but they were way too small and these are just better for like clothing items or accessory type of things like this so yeah that is what i'm going to be shipping today i'm going to show you guys the process of how i get the shipping label on pirate ship um how i package everything and all that good stuff so yeah, let's get started. So first off, I wanted to show you guys everything that you'll need for packing. So this is my little station right here. Um, I have some tissue paper for wrapping up the crochet um, items. Obviously my poly mailers that I showed you guys earlier. And then I went ahead and shipped the, um, what's it called? The packing slip, which is basically like a receipt to show everything that they ordered. And usually people would use like full size papers like this, but I don't want to waste paper so i cut them up into smaller sizes like this for all the packing slips because it just saves paper obviously and then next you want to have a shipping scale and this is the one that i have from amazon i actually bought the used version because it was cheaper and it was like literally brand new they just say used because somebody probably like returned it but that's besides the point and then obviously my crochet stuff and then my phone with my pirate ship stuff that i'm going to be doing so first what i'm going to do is just show you guys what i put inside the bags so for each granny square bag or like any bag that you order on my site it will come with a matching scrunchie so this is the matching scrunchie for the green bag and then i also put a thank you note inside of the bags and then on the back it has a secret discount code only customers get that so if you guys want a discount code after your first order just do that and then yeah so what i'm gonna go ahead and start doing is wrapping everything up in the tissue paper and i'm gonna make sure to leave the packing slip on the side so that i remember which is which and i can obviously see it through the tissue paper but i just want to make sure so i'm just gonna look at each packing slip just to confirm to make sure it's the right color on it so I don't get anything mixed up. All right, so I'm just gonna put the tissue paper down right here. Smooth it out. Kind of like it. Make sure, make sure. This doesn't get folded in here. So I'm just gonna do that and just Fold it as small as possible and then I'm just going to start wrapping. I'm just going to do that and I don't think I'm going to put tape on it because it's kind of useless. So I'm going to put that aside right here. Next is the brown bag. So I'm just going to put the tissue paper down again. Here's that scrunchie right here. You guys, I just realized this. Look in the back, my baby cousin's little doll. Oh my gosh. So now that I have packed everything into the tissue paper, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my shipping scale right here. I'm going to turn it on and just have it sitting and ready for me. Then I'm going to head to Pirate Ship and I'll show you guys what I'm doing on the screen in a second. So as you guys can see, I'm on Pirate Ship and I'm going to click import, the import button. It depends on what site you have. Like if you have Shopify, it'll show the Shopify logo. So these are the orders that i am going to be shipping so i'm going to click the green one first 
so since this is a new poly mailer that i have i'm gonna have to change the shipping size so the length was 16 and the width was 12. and then now that we have that set up i'm gonna put my package on the shipping scale plus the poly mailer just so we can get all sizes or all the accurate size so it says 6.8 let me make sure that's correct 6.7 so i'm just going to put 6.8 and it's going to round to, to um seven anyway so yeah then we're going to click get rates let me make sure it's the right type of packaging actually i have to click envelope 6.8 there we go get rates Okay, so now that I have clicked get rates, it shows the shipping cost and everything like that. So I'm gonna click ship for Friday. You have that already. And then I'm gonna buy the label. So now that I've bought the label, I'm gonna go back to ship or the main page, go back here again. The next one is the pink bag. So I'm gonna get the rates. And now that I have um, like the sizing of the first one, I'm just gonna put the same thing all around because now I know what the size will be. So I'm just gonna click get rates. It automatically puts it in for me already. So I have to do that again. And I'm just gonna make sure to see that it says seven ounces. Well, when it ships, it'll say seven ounces, so that's fine. Let me actually make sure because you don't wanna be too safe. So that's where the polymeller, put the polymeller down again. A lot of what I'm doing, you can really skip because it's boring anyways. So I'm just gonna weigh that again, 6.8 again. So we're gonna click buy the label, but that's the side. Next is the brown one. I'm gonna fold the polymeller, put it under the bag, and then weigh it again. Mm -hmm. This one says six ounces because it's the smaller bag, it's the brown bag, which is smaller. I'm gonna head back to ship again, click import, get the rate to the brown bag, and I'm gonna change the weight. So instead of 6.8, I'm just gonna put 6.2 just to be safe because sometimes it changes. I don't know why, but yeah, that happens. So I'm gonna put 6.8. So, you know what's weird? Now the shipping is more expensive for the smaller product. It's probably because of the distance, because that person that ordered the brown bag is in Oregon and I'm all the way in Illinois, so that makes sense. The other two are in Illinois. The other, no, what's crazy is the other two orders that I got are from Illinois, and one of the states or one of the cities are a city that my dad used to work in. Like, isn't that crazy? So yeah, now that I have clicked ship, um, I'm going to go back to the main page and all of their um, shipping labels are here. So instead of printing it one by one, I'm gonna click both, all three of them, click print three labels. And as you guys can see, the paper is in the printer already. So I'm just gonna print that out real quick. I'm gonna click download label. Um, open with just print and make sure the sizing is correct. So four by six, plain paper, all that good stuff. Print, and then now it's gonna be printing. This is what everything looks like, all ready to go. I love packing. There we go, it's finally printing. I knew it was gonna be with the problem. So yeah, it's currently printing the shipping label. The first one just came out. This one is for Julian. That's the brown bag here. Next one is for Tara, pink bag. Last one is for Sitlali. Sit I think it's Sitlali. Hopefully I pronounced her name correctly. So I'm just gonna look at the, um, no, Jillian is the green bag. Good thing I have the packing slip because I would have made a mistake. Sitlali is the brown bag. There we go. So now that we have those, don't look at the address. 
I'm going to now put, I'm gonna put the shipping label on each of the bubble mailers so that I can show you guys me putting it inside the um, the poly mailer because I don't wanna show their address on accident. So I'm just gonna do that part real quick off camera. So yeah, now that we have all of that set up, so now I'm gonna actually put the packing slip inside of each bag. Again, making sure it's the right packing slip. So I'm putting the packing slip inside Tara's bag. This is Jillian. I'm going to put the packing slip inside here. She's the one who got the green bag. I'm going to keep it close by so I don't get it mixed up. And then we got the packing slip for Sip Molly. I'm going to put that in here. And then we're just going to start putting everything in. So this is Sit Lolly, the brown bag. I'm going to throw that in here. Making sure I don't crush the packing slip. And I don't know if I should like fold it down like this or leave it big. Because if I fold it down like that, then the shipping label gets messed up. But I'm just going to keep it a little bit. Um, you guys can't really see what I'm doing. Hold on. So instead of like folding it all the way down, because that's what people I normally see do, I'm just gonna fold it until the top of the shipping label because I want it to show really good. I don't want the shipping label to be affected by any of this. So this is the first one. The shipping label is all here at the top of the bag. So that's for Sit Lolly. Next is the Terra. Right next to me, I'm gonna put the back in here. I'm gonna put it sideways just so it's easier for me to fold. Take the little thing off. Fold it until the shipping label shows up. Next one done. I love these polymelis. So cool. Indeed. Next is Sit Lolly. Right. Is this Jillian? Yeah, this is Jillian. She's the one who got the green bag, the round shape. You guys probably can't even hear anything I'm saying due to the plastic. Did I take the... Wow, what a clown. I didn't even take this off. Okay. I'm gonna get as much air out as possible. And then here's the last one. So just finish everything. So this is all the bubble mail is, you guys. Thank you so much for ordering the bags. I really appreciate it. Um, let's take a little picture of how everything looks real quick. Because this is just beautiful. I'm gonna post it on my story. So go to Instagram and check out my story. Um, this video will probably get uploaded real late, so I don't know. And yeah, that is it for this video. Like, that's all super, super easy. Thank you guys for ordering. Really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out all the other stuff I have on my website because I launched a whole bunch of other stuff. And yeah, so that is about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my website. Make sure you guys check out the lip glosses because I'm trying to get rid of those to focus on crocheting because I don't want to sell lip gloss anymore. Unfortunately, it's just too much for me right now. I wish it was different, but it's not. But yeah, check the link in my description. Check the link in my description and use the code that's on my website to get some lip gloss. And they're really, they're already discounted plus the discount code. So you're basically getting for it for free. But yeah, I'm gonna go cause I'm out of breath and I'm just saying anything right now, bye.